What's going on everybody? It's your boy back with another video. This is going to be a review for Transformers Devastation for all platforms. Let's get straight into it guys. The story of Transformers this time around puts the Autobots in a war against the Decepticons to prevent Megatron from harnessing plasma energy from the Earth, in which Cyber forms the planet killing all organic life and turning the planet into metal. If this sounds familiar, that's because you've seen this in very similar plots such as the last Transformers movie Age of Extinction. But in this version, you have the original Transformers Generation 1 doing their job. You take control of five Autobots, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Sideswipe, Grimlock, and Wheeljack to fight and stop Megatron from destroying the planet. We'll find a way to save Cybertron, but I cannot allow you to destroy Earth. We should have been allies, you know. Imagine what we could have accomplished, but you never had the manifolds to do what needed to be done. I have the manifolds to stand up for those who cannot stand for themselves. Controls. The control scheme for this game is what you would come to expect from a Transformer game. This being an action beat em up. You have your traditional melee attack and you also have your gun firing button. But what is unique about this iteration of the combo system is due to the fact that it focuses more on close combat and less on gun shooting, i.e. the beat em up style of the game. You can chain combos into something called the vehicle mode where your Autobot will transform and mid attack actually crash into your opponent making the combo look cool, funny, hilarious, all that all in one. The reaction from it is actually something you just don't get tired of. I don't have any complaints about the controls. It's simple and to the point and it obviously was built with the ideal of having either a casual kid or older person who's not really too familiar with getting all crazy with the controllers in mind. It's pretty simplistic and to the point and I ain't mad at that at all. Graphics are one of the things I look forward to in a title that brings back the childhood games that I enjoyed from my youth and cartoons, especially when they take a game or a cartoon from when I was a kid that was one of my favorites and they apply it to new hardware and new technology. So there's a bag of apples good and bad here. Let's get into it. The graphics in Transformers overall at the end of the day looks really nice and the coloring is cool and the designs are hot. But I couldn't help but notice the textures was a little bit bland. Right away I noticed even the PC version had a lack of texture quality. When I checked the last gen version of the game there was quite a few similarities that led me to believe that this game was originally intended for last generation. However, it's not all bad. Graphically, the game does look pretty good considering the fact that the textures were definitely, definitely designed with Last in mind. However, you do get the good and the bad hill. One of the good things you get out of that is that for the next generation console, you will be getting this game running at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is something that a lot of other games can't even say. So you do get the good, but of course, for last generation, since it's not 1080, you do not get the 1080, you will get the 720p version of this game and you will get a targeted 60 frames which is not promised so you know that means you probably will be getting dips and you will be hovering somewhere around 30 frames per second at least i hope so i understand that this game caters to a market that spans across all platforms and that's the reason for it being a multi game but graphically in this department i feel like this is one of the times that last generation ruined a good thing from being even better now graphically the game is impressive and Due to the fact that it doesn't have the textures I would expect when I turn the game to a uh, 4K resolution or even a 1080p PC game, I noticed that the comparison was very similar across all platforms. Of course, the advantage goes to PC for the unlock frame rate, which if your hardware can do it, you can also achieve way more than 60 frames per second in this game. So overall, depending on what platform you get it from, it performs quite well. Considering for last gen, a lot of those games didn't even think of giving you 60 frames per second in this game actually trying to achieve that that's pretty impressive for last gen so i won't knock it 
graphically though however the graphics are not in the realm of something that would deter me from making a purchase on this game it's definitely good and if i made it sound bad in any way i did it however i just wish that at the end of the day we could just see these games stop being held back by last generation because it's quite honestly really good i commend platinum studios for achieving 60 frames on consoles this is something that a lot of other developers need to do to give you guys that great feeling experience especially when a game has a lot of turns and twists and camera panning and action like this so overall platinum games did a great job with this title and graphically i definitely think the graphics are pretty good especially considering how it looked on last gen it actually looked pretty good compared to a lot of games that are on there now overall let's wrap this up and bring it home baby Overall, Transformers Devastation is a mashup of everything you love about the original Transformers and everything Transformers throughout the timeline. You have the original G1 Transformers voice actors, you have the writers of the comic books, and you have the stories from the movies. Along with a company by a $50 price tag for Next Generation. You can't really go wrong with that and it's very hard not to really want to pick up the title especially if you're a fan of transformers especially if you like the original transformers because you know over time they did different iterations of them they had beast they had uh headmasters they had everything i mean you you name it i got lost in the source a couple times with it you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day i think they did a good thing and for you console guys out there who don't play on pc they're giving you 60 frames per second however there are some things i will have to say about the overall purchase that you may want to consider it has a lack of content and it has a lack of internet uh support functions such as co-op or multiplayer you just have the single player campaign you have two modes so there's not much in the form of content and i understand why the price tag is now 50 dollars however if you are a fan of the game it's definitely a good transformers game to get it's definitely something you want to add to the collection if you have the other uh transformers games should i compare this to rise of the dark spark if i had to compare the two i would say that the options that you get in rise of the dark spark kind of beat this as far as you get to decide whether to play with the uh autobots and the transformers but what wasn't liked about that of course was the fact that they uh mixed and meshed and matched them where you didn't really have much control over who played what missions so in this game you have your five autobots you play your missions you beat the game and you go about your business and you get to enjoy another story of transformers overall i would have to say if you're a fan like me you definitely need to get the game for 50 dollars. it's not really a, a it's not going to kill you but um if you're not somebody who's familiar with transformers and you want to check it out you may want to check this out as far as a rental or some kind of download demo if they have that available before you make the purchase because like i said for the lack of content you may not feel this is worth buying in today's times because you know everything's about going online and things of that nature and this lacks a lot of that kind of content so overall i would say if you're a fan definitely buy this game definitely check it out if you're not a fan of somebody that's new you may want to rent this first before you see if it's worth a 50 dollar purchase because like i said it's kind of short and it's one of those wham bam thank you man things that only fans would really enjoy so with that being said it's your boy jimmy gaming i'm out of here later hey you know what it is before i go i want you guys to tell me in the comment section below are you getting this game are you writing this game are you skipping this game let me know what's the deal if anybody's getting it let me know what platform you're getting it for and i'm also curious do any of y'all even play last generation is it time for it to die anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section below you know i'll put this review together for you so you can let me know what you think let's talk about it i'm out of here later uh video going up that's going to be a new segment on my channel where i do uh suggestions on what people should get or use accessory wise for their gaming so hopefully you guys mess with me on that um i'm gonna have like accessories for pc gaming playstation xbox and even nintendo if the uh if that comes up i currently do not own a nintendo so for you people that do nintendo i apologize i don't have it so i don't feel like i should get up here and talk about stuff i don't know i'd rather do that than talk about shit from the perspective like how people say oh that's crap that's garbage and they don't own it so since i don't own a nintendo 
I don't feel like it's my place to talk about Nintendo good or bad because everything I'm saying is just an opinion and I like to have some kind of factual you know information or tangible object in front of me when I'm talking about something rather than just going based off what other people are saying 